What's up? This is Justin, Lauren's husband, coming to you from the AV, Amberley Village, Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st, 2020, your Lauren update. Let's get right to it. Take a look at this video. Go, 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 go. Now pull it back to your butt. What? Give me that slipper. Go. Pick it up. Come on. You're mad at me. You even had a little more movement. She's tired. We all yeah, know you yeah, get yeah. tired. Sometimes people can do it twice and then it's fired. Or once. Look at that. All right. Kick it. Come on. Kick. All right. One more. Up. Go. Yeah. How about that? Woo-hoo-hoo. Bengals need a kicker. Sign Lauren up. So here's what she told me. She was just in her room. They were doing a therapy session with her speech therapist and her occupational therapist. And all of a sudden her leg started to feel weird. She didn't know what was going on. And her brain said, hey, see if you can move your leg. And she just kicked it. And the two therapists were like, what? And Lauren was beside herself. She was in tears. She said it felt so good to have control of her body. Said it was an incredible feeling. This was this week, I think on Tuesday. So she also said that there was some extra movement, some new movement uh, with her left foot, which is a breakthrough because she hasn't had a lot of movement on the left side of her body. But this kick, man, it made everybody's week and uh, it's, it's awesome. So they sent videos around to the therapist, the doctors. And so what they wanna do now this update is to her discharge date. They're gonna push her back a couple weeks, keep her there a little longer so she can make more progress. They wanna do a couple of minor procedures with her so that when she gets home, she can get the medicine she needs and she can have things simplified so she can just focus on that therapy. So February 10th is the new discharge date. I'm eligible to go down January 18th so I can be down there for the last three weeks with her and then bring her back. In, uh, in the second week of February and get her reunited with those kids. Uh, speaking of the kids, they are back in this, the house on Section Road. The construction, um, as far as where their rooms are, is complete. So um, as of Wednesday, the kids and I moved back into the house and out of Lauren's parents' house. But I need to tell you this, Marlene and Albert and her older brother, Rob, are all MVPs in my book. They stepped up huge. They housed those kids uh, for six weeks while this construction was going on. I was there for the, the last three. But they just, they did a phenomenal job. Um, Monty, the dog, I'm sure is the happiest one that they're gone. I think, the, I think Marlene and Albert are having mixed feelings. I'm sure they miss those kids being there. But they need a break. They need a rest. And they can get more involved when I go back down to Shepherd. But they, uh, they really stepped up, as did everybody else. My parents, my Aunt Rochelle. Um, our f tremendous nanny, Lori, she's been uh, a superstar. Everybody involved, my aunt and uncle um, in Dayton, just everyone has been contributing to make sure that those kids have what they need and they have plenty of attention. And so, uh, you know, now we're back in the house. And so really, the only, the only I mean, that's the, that's the story with Lauren right now. There's not a whole lot else to tell. She's just dominating down there. She's doing long days of therapy, sometimes starting at 8 in the morning, sometimes going past 5 o'clock. And she's just doing everything they ask. Um, her mental and emotional state just keeps getting stronger and stronger each week. Everything she gets through, she just, when you talk to her, she's just in great spirits. She, uh, she's confident and um, she's just... She's, she's accepted everything that's happening and she's ready to just do this stretch run and, uh, and come home. So uh, on this New Year's Eve, we wanna just reach out on behalf of Lauren and our family to everybody who has uh, offered support, love, um, contributed different things like the construction. Uh, Seth Gutman really stepped up and, and his family and that, that company um, has, has really been integral in getting our house adjusted the way it needs to be. MedMart as well has, has stepped up. So just a lot of people are, are, are you know, this is, this is Lauren's village. This is what it is. This is what it's taking. And Lauren just wants everybody to know how much she loves all of you and how appreciative she is of the support and the love. So um, we just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Another update forthcoming soon. But for now, from the AV in Cincinnati, Justin Berg signing off. Can you say mama do? Mama do. <laughs>